la di 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 da dum. Is that song? Can you play me a memory? As I'm not really sure how it goes, but it's sad and it's sweet and we knew it complete when I wore a younger man's clothes. La dee 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 da dum. There we go then. Cup game action against Newark Town. Let's see how we get on today in this cup game. In the middle of the night, I go walking in my sleep into the mountain of truth, into a river so deep. You know, I'm searching for some. Something's on the back. By the eyes of mine, in the middle of the night. Yeah. Do 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 In the middle of a back walking in a in the middle of a Back walking, yeah, in the middle of the night, I go walking in my sleep into the man of truth. Right, there we go. Let's see how we get on today. In the middle of the night. Well, there's absolutely nothing happening. We've got no... Commentary at the bottom. I don't know what's happened with this. It's jumping loads. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We've got a highlight as in what's who plays it into Paul Jones, drops it across. Has the great chapel missed. After all that. Oh we've got some kind of highlights. Oh no we haven't, it's gone again. Oh, we've got another one, McWilliams throws it straight to them. Tumwa whips one in and Fox is there to catch the ball. Tumwa and Wozu, Ho, Powell. Paul Jones missed! I'm not liking that there's no writing here at the bottom. Chapel whips one in. Can't do anything with it. Chapel again into Ho this time. Plays one across. It's been cleared. McWilliams plays one in. What a goal! Jordan Chapel is an absolute screamer of a goal. And it's Newark Neil Spilsby Town 1. We will watch the next round draw if we go through as well on this video. 
but we need to make it through as Musu gets there, has the crack, McKendy's in, and McKendy just dinks the goalkeeper and gets his seventh of the season, and it's Newark nil, Spilsby Town 2, and Keel be United are beating Grimsby Borough Development, and Grimsby Borough Reserves are absolutely battering Witherton by three goals to nil, Springthorpe with it then, into Unrosu, back to McMillan, Plays it out, McKendy's in again, and McKendy's got goal number eight, and Paul Jones has gone from scorer to supplier. And at half time, it's Newark nil, Spilsby Town three. We basically started this club with no players whatsoever last season. And we're taking this club places with what we have built. Paul Jones is there and he's got one and that's goal number four for the season. McMillan's got another assist. Marshall. McWilliams with an easy ball to get. Pings one up, McKendy's in. McKendy! Five! It's goal number five and goal number nine of the season for McKendy. It's McKendy's hat trick. We're going to make a couple of substitutions now. Um, Kane Winfarrow can come on. Adlard can come on. And Fernandez. He can come on as well. Newark haven't even had a shot against us. Um, Appleby Frodenham are winning. Lincoln Morelands are winning. Nunny Tavern are winning. The Butcher's Arms are winning. That's drawing. And we're just finding them up. Adlard's injured already. We haven't got any spubs. So he's going to have to count, <laughs> just play on for the rest of the game. Fernandez and Chapel have been booked. Springs up then. Turns the ball behind. Chapel gives it out, Adlard with his injured shin, into Powell, back to Hull, when Farrah now can run down the left, but he passes it on to McWilliams who, well, less said about that one, the better was Fernandez then. Adlard's got it there, and there's a corner, corner ball for Spilsby. We're going to have to take him off when it says. McWilliams picks it up on this left hand side. Straight back to the goalkeeper. Plays it into Powell. Powell into Adlard. There's on McKendy's there and nearly gets goal number four of the day. Adlard's going to have to come off. We're going to have to finish the game with ten men. Before his injury gets any worse. And let's see how we get on. There's Marshall then. Pings on him. Hope Paul's there and he's... <laughs> well. Um, I thought that was going in. It didn't, thank God. We've only got one strike on him. It's in Wilson there. Um, yeah, just does that. Plays it in. Fox gets it. Pings it up. Hopa, Thomas. Hatpole's there and Rick Hopewell's got one back. It's 5-1, but surely it's not enough. McKendie into Wilson. Tumwa, Powell. Powell can turn and go. Plays it into Fernandez, into Chapel. Both the players on the right-hand side with a booking. And McKendie's got goal number six. It's Newark 1, Spilsby Town 6, and all our midfielders are absolutely fucked as that man. They made it 7 1 there. And McWilliams with a throw into Mo, into Mo Farrer, into Wim Farrer. McWilliams plays in Wim Farrer's there, and it is 7 1. And Jordan Chappell's got goal number 4 of the season for his little personal tally. What a performance this has been. Powell, McKendie's in, no. Oh! That was close, and what a game that was. It finished Newark Town 1, Spilsby Town 7. Let's see who we get in the second round of the cup. Surely, people are going to be quaking in the boots if, if we get drawn out against them. Let's hope it doesn't crash like it did last time. Otherwise, this video could last a very, very, very long time. Or the next video after this will last about 35 seconds. It could go either way. This. We 
shall see. Hopefully, it doesn't crash and we can get the video done and dusted. Turkey nil, Guinea nil is a full time score. Wow. That is unbelievable. What a performance from Guinea to draw with Turkey. And the under 21s, Denmark under 21s 1, Germany under 21s 0. Hopefully we get to the draw very, very soon. It's looking like it won't be in an episode. But I will let you know because this is taking forever. So we'll end it here, folks. What a, what a win. 7-1. Against a team that was relegated last season. From the divisions above. An awesome achievement from the whole squad there today. I thought we might have won one or two, one or two nil, but seven one. We've just blown them out of the water, and we had ten men for the last ten minutes or so. Unbelievable! Oh no, actually, we're going to stay with you because it's finally decided that we're going to continue. 7th heaven for Spilsby Town. What did he have with him anyway? Bruce is it's out for two or three days. He could have carried on really. I don't know why there was moaning. But um Yeah, let's move it on to the next day then and let's see who we get in the quarter finals of the Lincolnshire Football League Challenge Cup. Epworth Town Colts won it last season and they got promoted out of the Lincolnshire Football League to the Northern Counties East League Division 1. I'm guessing we could either go into the Northern Counties East or the United Counties League. Um, I'm hoping for the Northern Counties East to be fair because I know quite a lot of the teams in there and when I do my ground up in videos on YouTube that is the tender grounds to try and hit. Um, yeah, so it's all good. Um, I know I have been to Boston Town before, though, to be fair, in the United Counties. I'd like to do more than a bit further away from where I live. But who knows when, uh, when we can. We might. Who knows? I don't. Louis Adlard is third in the goals per minute game, uh, league, shall we say. Um, and he's only come off the bench. He hasn't actually started a game. That is some achievement. And we're coming, after this episode, straight back for that game at the top. That game is... Huge! Forget your Liverpool, Everton, your Liverpool, Man U's, your Arsenal, Chelsea's. 
supposed to be Tom V, Grimsby Borough Reserves, is going to make or break the season. I'm not going to do the draw because it, it's taking forever. So we'll end it here. And in the next episode, I'll let you know who we get drawn against. Stay safe, take care, and we'll see you all soon. Goodbye.